life is short, and in this short amount of time in this world, you don't want to look back and think about all the times you denied yourself who you really are. I'm with Luke Radowski of wearechange.org, and uh, Luke, I have a couple questions for you. Go ahead. How, what started you to be an activist? What, what was your start? It's a very long story. I'll just cut it short because I've told the story many yes. times. Got beat up by the cops when I was 15, 16, hanging around the wrong crowds. We got beat up for no reason by the NYPD in Brooklyn. Um, couldn't get any justice anywhere. Uh, lawyers, review boards, uh, complaint uh, organizations, they always said, there's no video footage of what happened. So it's your word against the cops and no one's going to believe you. Ever since then, I always have a video camera on me everywhere I go. Okay. What has, um, what are your inspirations? Inspirations? Are we talking about people or are we talking about actors? Whatever inspires about... you to do what you do. Seeing people create solutions instead of just concentrating on the problem. Seeing people go out into the world and make the best out of situations that are not always the best and do the best to make the biggest impact and difference they can. Seeing people with uh, a belief in themselves that they can do anything, seeing them accomplish things, seeing them stand up for themselves is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So we're trying to encourage that, we're trying to inspire as many people to um, pick up this truth teller that we all have within our pockets, whether it's a cell phone or a video camera, and uh, show the world for what it is and educate people and empower people. So. It inspires me every day when I see people standing up for themselves. Now you've been doing activism for, what, about a decade now? Yeah, close to 11 years now. How has that changed your life? It definitely made my life a lot better. Uh, it gives me a sense of purpose. It, it makes me um, understand that there's more to life than what we're told. It makes me understand that it doesn't matter how you look or how you dress or what friends you have, it matters what experiences you have in life. It opened me up to meet and understand things that I would never ever understand. It made me, I, I feel, more of a spiritually rich person. Um, I'm not a financially rich person, but spiritually the things I experienced, the things I went through, the people I met, the places I traveled the, to, and the things I've seen have changed my life forever and made me extremely humble. Uh, and grateful for being alive um, and um, it's just been a very beautiful you know awakening where do you see humanity going in your lifetime that all depends on you watching right now you're watching this video you decide where it goes I don't decide where it goes I can't predict the future but if we all shift our consciousness towards an understanding and a belief that we can do anything and nothing's impossible it is, and it's right in front of us. Um, it all depends on the actions you take individually. Some of the smallest things you do could make a world of difference. Um, and um, I think if we start acting towards that way, um, little things like holding the door for somebody or helping someone carry a bag, uh, the easier and better life would be. Do you have any, and one last question, do you have any advice for any uh, people to actually start becoming active? Uh, don't deny yourself to who you really are. Don't ever stop, your, stop yourself from speaking your truth because you're scared of somebody, what somebody else may think of you. Uh, life is short, and in this short amount of time in this world, you don't want to look back and think about all the times you denied yourself who you really are to yourself. You don't want to do that. Um, think about how fast everything's going and how fast life will pass you by. And think about how you really want to live your life. Uh, do you want to be known as, as you know, looking back in your life as you did what you truly believed in, that you were free inside within yourself, that you acted and said what you wanted to say? Or do you want to look back in your life and have all these regrets um, and feeling bad about yourself? You decide right now. Um, it's, it's amazing, it's beautiful to do these things. Um, I really started living life when I started doing this. Um, my life wasn't 
fulfilled. I was always trying to be somebody I was not. I was always looking up to celebrities. I was always trying to be, a, you know, a basketball player or, or whatever. Um, you know, and looking back at it, I could have had a life where my life could have been consumed with putting a ball in a hoop, or it could have been consumed with empowering, uh, educating, informing, and inspiring others. So that's always my passion. I hope I do that. Uh, there's still so much we need, all need to do, but it takes all of us to do it. Luke, it was a pleasure. Everyone, if you've never heard of it, go to wearechange.org. They do great work. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.